first witness on the stand, a patient of South Korean descent who went to Dr. Javid Purways for more than 15 years. She saw him first in 2006 in her 40s for an abnormal pap smear. She said she had five surgeries over 10 years after stating no complaints. In 2006, she was told by the doctor she had a lump in her pelvic area that needed to be removed. Each time she went back for a checkup, the doctor told her the lumps were growing back even though she was feeling better. Four more surgeries were performed, eventually a hysterectomy as she was told she'd get cancer. The patient said she didn't know what a hysterectomy was since she spoke very little English. The defense challenged her, stating she's lived here for more than 30 years and English is the only language she speaks at home. The second witness, another patient who went to the doctor for an abnormal pap smear and vaginal bleeding. The doctor said he would use a scope to look for abnormal cells. She was shown that device in court and claimed it was never used on her. The doctor then told her after using said device that he saw lots of cancer cells inside of her and she needed a hysterectomy. But the lab report shown in court but never to the patient showed everything found in surgery was benign. The woman in her late 50s said she cannot hold her urine and still has vaginal bleeding today. The defense asked her why she didn't complain before the FBI contacted her after Perways was arrested. Also on the stand, Dr. Paul Monclaw, an OBGYN who works at Chesapeake General, where Perways also worked. Monclaw described observing what he called a cluster of surgeries and inductions on Saturdays, which was atypical. Monclaw said after seeing Perways' arrest on the news in early November, he contacted the FBI about having some suspicions. The defense asked Dr. Monclaw why he didn't contact authorities before he saw Perways being arrested in November if he was having concerns at the hospital and also if he was aware of any complications with his deliveries. That doctor replied no. This trial is expected to last two more weeks. In Norfolk, Chelsea Donovan, News 3.